So the question is, a uh, trailer is attached to a cap at X. What is the upward force at X by the cap on the trailer? What's happening? Okay, let me try to, to, to make... Let's say this, my hand, my hand is the, the cap. You know, let's put this side. My hand is the cap and this is the trailer. I just hook the trailer on top of my hand. And then, the trailer will pull. Okay, so the hook is that black part there. It's going to hook, there's a hole in the trailer and it's going to hook it. So there's going to be a force at X, this, like that. Some force, like upwards force, what to call it? F, la, F. What's the upward force? Okay. The trailer's not rotating, they didn't say it's flipping around, spinning around. So somehow the torque is balanced, the moment is balanced. But the moment about what pivot? We need a pivot. Where shall we put our pivot? Hmm. Let's see. If we choose our pivot at X, then we can't find X. Cause, because uh, if all the forces at the pivot doesn't affect the torque. So I'm going to choose the pivot at the butt of this trailer. I'll say, this is my pivot. That means the first uh, weight of the trailer will cause a clockwise torque and then the hours force will cause an anti-clockwise torque on the trailer. How about that? I think that sounds better. So now it looks like it's kind of balanced. So let's see. Clockwise torque is from the weight of the trailer, wow, 30 kilo newton. Okay, so we write there, 30 kilo, kilo is what? Times 10 to the 3. Kilo newton times distance from the pivot. So 0 0.1, oh sorry, 10 meters. I thought that was in cm. So 10 meters. What's that torque? So 30 times 3 times 10. Wow. That's a very big talk. 300 times 10 to the 3 Newton meter. Then how about anti-clockwise talk? So anti-clockwise is because of that force. Do we know the force? No, we don't know the force. But we do know it's perpendicular, so that saves us some trouble. No need sines and cosines. So force times distance. So we have force times the distance in total is 20 meters. So just 20 F. Oh? Now, they both, both talks have to be balanced because the trailer is just steady chilling. So you can say the clockwise torque equals to anti-clockwise torque. And you equate both equations together. Let's draw a line. Oh, that's a very bad line. Oh my goodness. Line. There we go. So what's clockwise? We have 300 times 10 to the 3 equals to 20F. It's kind of like the equilibrium problem already, but never mind, give you a head start. So then your force at the end will be 300 times 3 divided by 20. So you should get about 15 kilonewton. So 15 times 10 to the 3 Newton. Okay, so that's the force that's acting up on X. Some of you are saying, eh, where's the negative positive sign, miss? I thought you said got negative positive one. Yeah, you can still do negative positive. I just shortcut a bit. Let's say if you want clockwise to be positive, anti-clockwise to be negative, then you can say the total moment is zero because it's not moving. So your clockwise is What's the clockwise torque again? 30 times 10 to the 3 times 10 meters. Then the anti-clockwise one is minus. So you F times 20. This is basically the step before this one. I just didn't write it out. Okay? If you want to think of the negative, positive, one will be positive, one will be negative. Zero. Why is there a zero? Because, oops. Total moment is zero. 
total moment means nothing is rotating around lah. It's not flipping up or flip, flipping down. So I then no flip. No flipping, yo. Okay, so that's how you can uh, try out questions like this. So go and try out the practice questions when they are posted to play around with all these kinds of talk and see how you can think of different situations and apply these basic formulas.